Last season, Vasilya Misic completed the most prestigious feat in European basketball. His team, Anadolu Efes, won the Euroleague, and Vasa himself collected both regular season and Final Four MVP trophies. Yet, it wasn't enough to land him a real role in an NBA team. This is what the playmaker had to say about it. Uh, they don't know me. They don't know me so well. Even though I can play 10 more years as MVP here, they, his, they still have doubts about players from Euroleague. Unfortunately, this is a well-known and sad reality about the best international players, so BasketNews.com decided to make a proper case for why Vasilya Micic should be in the NBA. And not only be, but playing solid minutes too. Let's dive into the footage. Terrific handles once again as Micic pulled the trigger, count the bucket! A miraculous play from Vasilya Micic to open the second half! Serbian, who was actually selected in the second round of 2014 NBA draft by Philadelphia, is a tall playmaker, at his best with the ball in his hands. Promising youth days projected a solid career immediately, but the development was not as quick as everyone expected. Misic had to go through an up and down period after being selected in the draft, until finally in 2017 he joined Jalgiris Konas then coached by Sharunas Jesikavicius. This is where point guard's play took a huge leap and he credits Sharas up until this day. It feels like I spent 5 years playing in that one season on the Euroleague level. That's how much I feel like I learned. Sharas molded me and simplified basketball for me so much. There is one thing that he became a master of in his time in Konas, pick and roll. Especially the one on the side, a trademark of Jesikavicius' offensive system. The importance of playing it lower than the free throw line so you have a bigger gap and more chances of getting inside the paint. The trick of couple preparation dribbles to get your opponent stuck on the screen and other details. Great habits were learned that year, but the real explosion happened after his transfer to the Turkish club Anadolu Efes. With the help of a couple significant others, he transformed a last place team to a real contender in only one year. Coach Ergin Ataman gave total freedom to Vasilya. 4-4-4-6, Green light in offense, good habits from Sharas, and elite size for his position was the recipe for total dominance. 7 points per game converted into 12, then into 15 and even 17 points per game last season. He became unstoppable on all pick and rolls, not only on those on the side. As a first option, he is always looking to reject the screen and cut off two opponents at once. He is super smooth on selling the movement with the body and changing direction at the last moment, while the defender is already leaning to the other side. The variety of finishes near the rim is another strength of Micic, but we will get back to that later. Take a look at this read when the help defense comes. Vasa remains one step ahead of others, knowing that Maccabi expect a pass to the corner. He skips it to the 45 to create a wide open shot. Being able to shoot is a must in modern NBA, and even though Micic never had a higher than 40% conversion rate from long distance, he can light up at any moment, and boy can he do it from the NBA range too. Going under the screen is definitely not an option against him. Similar to being late with an aggressive switch, Serbian can pull up from way beyond the arc. Bumped as he made his way into the lane, Vasilya Micic club it on the three-pointer and still able to connect. This is something Barcelona were punished for in Euroleague final last year. You might not expect someone to pull up from this range, but those little details cost Barcelona the title. 5 of 5, 6 of 6 and even 7 from 11, these are just a few examples of how deadly Vasilya can breathe from outside. But let's keep it honest. He is a streaky shooter that possesses huge confidence in his abilities and that sometimes can result in games where he goes 0 from 7 too. When it comes to scoring, he always has an additional option to rely on. Point guard is one of the best, if not the best in all Euroleague, in getting inside the paint after the screen, the most dangerous area on the court. Here we go a bit off road. Micic grew up in a mountain area in Serbia and practiced skiing a lot during his childhood. Moreover, he has publicly admitted that skiing is his first and biggest love. And we can spot little bits of his slaloming skills on the court too. He is able to maneuver through the tiniest of spaces and changes the direction of his movement without many problems. This allows him to arrive at the rim more often than others and create high percentage shots. 
Contact with the opponent is something he is not afraid of, as you can find many clips of Vasilya finishing through it. Obviously going right he feels more comfortable being a right-hander, but going left he's more creative. Weird, even unorthodox finishes going left and shooting right is an often sight when watching Misic play, but somehow he gets them to roll in. As well as adding 17 points per game in Euroleague, Mitic creates a similar amount of points for his teammates. He has the perfect size for a playmaker and wouldn't lag height even in the NBA. Often he is able to see and make passes that point guards who are 5cm shorter wouldn't be able to make. One thing I like about his game is the late passes when inside the area. The 28-year-old shows no rush against aggressive defenses and loves these little drop-off passes near the rim. He does 99% of the job for his teammates, as there is not much left to do for them after these slick dimes. And here come Efes. Mitsic blocked off by Sam Rose, but found the pass to Moyamon free in the paint for the score. Anadolu Efes' offensive game resembles modern NBA basketball, pick and roll heavy offense, with everyone spacing out in four corners and one big diving to the rim after the pick. Mitic and his duo partner Shane Larkin are unstoppable in these situations. Their gravity usually attracts two defenders and help defenses are in constant chase mode. Being almost 2 meters tall, Vasilya is able to easily read low man movements and fool them with no look or skip passes that create open shots. Whenever Anadolu had Tibor Plyce, a center with soft touch from distance playing, this lineup was just unstoppable due to superb spacing. Just imagine what Mitic could do in an even bigger NBA court. Nice cross court pass and the floater. Last but not least, let's talk about his isolation bag of skills. This has become a hot topic for Ergen Ataman coach team as everyone understood that giving up advantage on passive or aggressive pick and roll defenses doesn't lead to anything good with Anadolu. Switching allows to keep the balance at least for a little bit, but later the consequences are these. I could single out three main moves that Mitsic depends on in isolation. First one, Lillard style step back after dribbling between the legs. If you are defending him, watch out for that leg kick in front. You don't want to allow four point plays like this. Terrific period of play as Mitsic clobbered to the court, cam the bucket! Next one is a hesitation move and explosion to the left. Brandon Davis, his ex-teammate, could tell us something more about it as I found two identical situations from this and last season. Between the end of quarter clock and the shot clock as Mitsic gives himself running, running room, drives into the teeth and gets it to go! How did he split that gap? Third one is a left to right crossover that allows Mitsic to go to his strong right hand. If there is one thing Serbian could improve, it would be taking care of the ball. Obviously having such a huge usage rate has its own cost, but sometimes Anadolu Efes playmaker is just too careless with the ball. Simpler often meets more efficient, and Vasilya could improve his assist to turnover ratio. To conclude, Euroleague MVP has already checked on all of accomplishments in Europe. He has been dominant for three seasons in a row and deserves a rotation role in the NBA. It all depends on finding the right spot, something Oklahoma, that owns his rights, can't offer right now as they are all in on developing other young guards like Shea Gilgis Alexander or Josh Giddy. I could see a real offer coming from a franchise who has European impact in the front office though. Let me know your thoughts on Vasilius' chances to finding a real role in the NBA in the comment section down below, and I'll see you next time.